looking at this family, I want to tidy up the joins between the frame and the legs to make the geometry a little tidier. Firstly, just to demonstrate, I will remove the parameter association to the material for this frame. So I select on the equals sign, which indicates that the property is associated to a parameter, and I will select none to remove any association of the material to a parameter. So this is a way of removing the association to a parameter. I want to now tidy up the join, as I said previously. So to do that, I can use the join tool. I can select the first piece of geometry and then the second piece of geometry. And here I have more of a clean join line where these two pieces of geometry meet. However, the order in which you join the components or which component you place first is very important. If I select on the frame now, I can see that now it has taken the parameter for the leg material. And this is because it takes the parameter of the element that it is joined to. If I undo the join geometry action and I join the by selecting the frame first and then selecting the leg. If I now select the leg, note that the association to the parameter for the leg has been removed because it takes the properties of the first element that was selected during the join process. Again, if I now select on this individual leg, and associate this parameter to the leg material. If I now select on the frame, notice that this material is also now assigned. So it's important to remember that the order in which you join elements will affect the property associations. I can now go ahead and join all the legs to the frame and just select on a leg to make sure that the parameter is correctly associated. I'll load it back into my project and I can now see the join lines more clearly. And I'm happy with how I've tidied up the family. So that is how to use the join tool to get clean joins and intersections between different pieces of solid geometry.